Okay, so this is about uh, bone structure when it is non-decalcified or undecalcified. So this is bone as it looks um, when it is just extracted. So these sections are prepared by grinding the bone until it's very, very thin. Uh, and then uh, until so it's thin enough to be transparent to the light down the microscope. Uh, so in this case, we are now looking at the hard mineral part of the bone matrix. Okay, if you remember, bone matrix is made up of an organic collagen part and a non-organic or inorganic calcium phosphate called hydroxyapatite. And if you just take some bone and uh, grind it until it's a very, very thin piece, then this is what we see. So let's just um, orientate ourselves. We can see the periosteum around the outside here. Then we can see the um, cortical or compact or dense bone around the outside of this bone. This is a cross section of bone. And then in the middle here, we can see some sort of trabeculae starting to form here. So this is the spongy or cancellous or trabecular bone. Okay, bone has a lot of words to describe the same thing. So let's just have a little look at a part of this bone to see what we can see. In this section, we are looking at what we call haversion systems or osteons. And I think we look at this bit. This is an osteon here, circular area just here. Basically, the bone it has been laid down in, around the blood vessels. So the centre of an osteon or haversion system is the haversion canal, and that is where you would find the uh, blood supply in the centre. And then the osteocytes are located in rings around that, much like a, a sort of tree rings. So you can see the osteocytes here are in dark brown and they are in rings around the central um, haversion canal. And those rings are called lamellae. Where the osteocytes are connected to each other, and if you'll remember, as osteocytes become entombed in the bone, they do retain long cell processes that connect with adjacent uh, osteocytes to allow them to um, be a network throughout the bone so that they can sense stresses and strains and the fluid within the bone um, sort of vibrates and um, the osteocytes can sense the stresses and strains via that um, and they communicate that with each other and they also communicate that to osteoblasts who then communicate that to osteocytes and that's how bones know whether or not to lay down more bone. And so those osteocytes are located within the lacunae in the lamellae. And these um, radial sort of spokes that we can see are the osteocyte processes communicating with each other. And the channels that those run in are called canaliculi. Now, there's a lot of long words in here, and many of these long words are just because when microscopists first ground bone into a thin slice and looked at it, they had to identify the lacuna, or the space where the cell was. They had to identify the lamellae, or rings, and they had to identify the canaliculi, or spokes. And they didn't know what they were, they just gave them names. But I'm hoping that I've just explained to you what the various bits are, and that is the structure of um, the hard part of bone. It's really the inorganic part is just laid down around the, the osteocytes and around the osteocyte processes and those are the names given to the various bits.